to be your hands, to be your eyes, to be your mouth, to be your feet, so that the lost will be rich, so that they will be saved. And you have partnered with us, Lord. And that's another awesome responsibility and privilege that we thank you. And Lord, this morning we would like also to lift up before you our brethren, our families who have lost a loved one. We would like to pray for Billy who lost his mom, Colleen, this week. I pray that even right now that you will continue to grant strength upon him and comfort. And knowing that Colleen is right now resting and enjoying your presence there in heaven because he, she have put her faith in you as her Lord and Savior. We would like also to lift up before you the Marasigan family and the rest of the relatives for the passing away of Dr. Steve Marasigan. Pray for comfort and strength and peace. It is difficult, Lord God, but we know that they will be able to go through this because, again, of, of the great assurance that Steve Marasigan is right there also in your presence. And there is no more pain, there is no more sickness, there is no more aging, there is no more worries <laughs> right there in heaven because they're finally resting, just like all of us who have our loved ones passed away before us. And Lord, today we're here because you allowed us to be here on this earth and, and, and we have a purpose to fulfill. And help us, Lord, to search our hearts just to, to know what you have made us to do. And, and the main mission that you have for us individually and as a church is for us to reach the lost for you. To bring them to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what we ask, Lord God, that you will give us the strength and the courage to keep going on in our Christian lives because of that responsibility and the privilege you have given us. And today, Lord, as we allow you to speak to us, as you have spoken through our songs that we have offered to you, I have given our worship as we prepare our hearts to listen to your message. We pray that it's you who will be heard today. And we're so thankful, O oh God, that you are in our midst today. And that you will speak to our hearts. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. 